Okay, this is a brief tutorial on some of the more difficult measures of the 2022 Alabama All-State Snare Etude. Uh, the book or the solo comes from the Mitchell Peters Advanced Snare Drum Book. So if you don't have one of those, get one of those and I will post this music somewhere so that you can see how I'm breaking down these measures. I think there are maybe three or four measures that I'm going to break down. Uh, the solo is not that difficult this year. Uh, it is a little more difficult when you play at the prescribed 105. Uh, quarter note equals 105. I'm going to explain and demonstrate I think there's four measures here. Yeah, the four measures that to me are the more difficult measures that uh, students will have trouble with and I'm going to play them at 90 beats per minute instead of 105. Uh, I think it's going to be easier for me to explain it and easier for you to play along. So anyway, so what I've done, if you look at letter A, letter A uh, is page 47 in the book, measure 9. So the measure itself is, all right, which is not that difficult physically, but when you add in the other measures uh, could cause some confusion. So what I've done, basically before the measures in question that are outlined in this tutorial, I have actually filled up the measure with 16th note triplets. Okay, so letter A will be, all right, that's the hand motion you want, and then we're going to take out certain notes to form this rhythm. All right, so and I've uh, worked with a couple of students doing this, and it, it, it cleared things up like, like that. They go, oh, okay, so the light bulb went on. So what I'm going to do is play letter A, and I'm going to play it through several times. You get the hand motion from the first measure, all right? Use that same hand motion, and then just we're taking out certain notes where the rest are. So, all right, so here's letter A. without the rim shot. Okay, so let's put the metronome to 90. Yeah, it's a little faster than I played it. Alright, so here's letter A with that. Alright, that's the actual measure. So once you get the muscle memory going with that, uh, you can just play the measure itself and then combine the measures before it, after it, to put it in musical context and then play the solo. Uh, I also did not put any dynamics on here, so you'll need to look at your dynamics for that. This is just the physical uh, manipulation of the sticks to play the rhythm. So that's letter A, all right? That's measure nine. Uh, letter B is measure 10, all right? And the measure in question is played like, all right? So, the measure itself is... The measure before it, I've filled up with, not entirely, but I've actually started with an eighth note, followed by six sixteenth note triplets, and ending with the eighth note. So the reason why I did that is that the measure in question, the measure itself, starts with an eighth note and ends with an eighth note. So that's why I'm doing that. And I also did that with letter A, uh, ending with an eighth note because the measure itself ends with an eighth note. All right, I say that to play this. All right, so that measure, measure 10 is played like this. Right, and at 90, okay, all right, the third measure in question, what do you know, it's the next measure, still on the same page, page 47, measure 11, and we've got this. All right, so we fill up the measure with 16 count triplets. In the previous measure, and here will be letter C. All 
All right, so you want to make sure beat two, uh, digga da digga da two, da 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 two, digga da digga da two, da 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 two. All right, don't rush into beat two. Uh, so here's letter C again. All right, all right, putting on the metronome at 90. The actual measure is. All right, and I like to start the measure with the right and end with the right on that one. All right, so keep the hand motion the same as if you were playing nice and relaxed. No stiff sticking, no downstroke, and just everything nice and flowing. And use concert sticks. I'm using a marching stick, but it's an indoor stick. So it's not quite a marching stick, but it's not quite a concert stick. It's somewhere in between. All right. So the last measure in question of the, quote, difficult measures uh, is measure 13. So, so far we've had measure 9, 10, and 11. This is measure 13. So the questionable measure is, all right, that was a little wacky. All right, proceed it with 16th note triplets. So you're going to try to focus on the upbeat of two, one and two, and for the release of the last note of the measure. Uh, all right, I don't know if you can see my leg doing this, but all right. So it's on the upbeat. One and two and digga da 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 and digga da digga da digga da and digga da 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 and. So the release of the measure or the last note in the measure is the only upbeat of two. All right. So that is measure nine, measure ten, measure eleven, and measure thirteen. Now, if we go on to letter E, what I've done is put the measures in context in the way that you're actually going to perform them when you play uh, the A2. All right. So this is the measure 9, 10, and 11 on page 47, back to back, which is the way it's written in the solo. So you got. All right. So that's the way it's played. All right. So here's letter E again. So practice that over and over and over, all right? And measure 13 and 14 could be an issue. Even though I didn't outline or do the tutorial on 14, 14 is just simply rest. And you're going to start at the edge, rest, all right? But the attack of the first note in 14 has a tendency to rush, or it doesn't. Performers do, all right? So you're going to play measure 13 and go straight into 14. So, da 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 rest, da 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 So the first note in 14 is rest and, rest and. So don't go da 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 It's So if you play it with a metronome, So you got to wait on it. Give that a little daylight, a little breath, a little breath mark there. All right. Okay. So hopefully this uh, brief tutorial, I'm going to do another one that's a little more inclusive of all the measures. Uh, but to me, from looking at this, I just started looking at this this week. Um, these are the four measures that, if anything, uh, will be the ones that will be issues uh, with young drummers approaching their all state. All right, this is just the snare drum portion. Uh, you also have the long roll, double stroke, the long roll, uh, single stroke, uh, and that's all you do on snare. Uh, you do sight reading, uh, but then you've got the timpani A2, you've got the two mallet uh, 
keyboard, four mallet keyboard, and sight reading on mallets and sight reading on snare, but not on timpani. Uh, so hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, email below, contact me if you guys uh, need help individually, uh, in person, through Skype, or through another video or what have you. But this is the first tutorial of the 2022 snare drum etude for Allstate here in the state of Alabama. And to me, these are the four measures that will require the most practice. The rest of it pretty much takes care of itself. But the most important thing is for you to remember to relax when you play. Don't tense up. Everything is relaxed. All right? Okay, so keep on drumming, practice this, and stay tuned for another tutorial on the Allstate Snare Drum A2. Keep on drumming.